haul of what I got in town today. By the way, it was like 12 degrees today and sunny. That's so weird. Anyways, the most important thing that I picked up today, some copies of my engine key and my door key. So I should test these and make sure they work, but I already feel more responsible already. I just picked up these from the printer. So we got some van stickers that I'm gonna have to cut out. They're vinyl, so we got the Rome. And we got the home. Love these. They smell vinyly, <laughs> freshly printed. They look a lot better than the first round. I fixed the resolution and the size and just made some colors a little bit more vibrant here and there. And yeah, it's great. Very excited, especially these ones. I think they turned out really, really cute. Just so simple and can't wait to use them on things. From Home Hardware, I also picked up some heavy duty paper towel. A can of propane. And then I went to Thrifty Foods for some food. I just got chips and dip, so treating myself. I haven't had chips in a while, so big fan, would recommend. And then I just have my backpack full of my Jackeries because I collected power and we're pretty much at 100% on both of them. So looking good all around, really productive day. Yeah, so now I'm just gonna have a chill evening, cut these out, make some dinner, and then I think I'm leaving the island tomorrow. I do have a call planned with my friend. It's gonna happen later, so that'll be really fun to catch up with an old friend. Gotta stay social, even if you're traveling and living in a van. You know, it's important to stay connected to people and your friends, and so that's what I'm gonna try to do today. <laughs> Okay, there's lots of traffic, but that's authentic. I'm leaving the Gulf Island. Okay, lots of big vehicles going by. I'm trying to speak in between them. <laughs> leaving the island. It's gonna be about a 20 minute ferry ride and I'm really gonna miss it here. This was such an adventure and I'm so grateful to have experienced it for the past few weeks. But let's get onto that main island, the big boy, and see what we can find. I do have to refill on some supplies. I want to buy some coffee beans. And so I think the first stop is going to be a grocery store. And then the next stop will probably be, I don't know, I'm set for the library. I would love to get like a, a hiking trail along the way. So goodbye island. It was such a pleasure. I'll be back soon. I really wish I bought an, a ferry pass, like an island pass instead of just paying the one-way trip here because then I could have like came back and not paid and visited different ones and like had that pass, but I know for next time. Okay, gotta turn the van on. Let's go. Got a front row seat. We're moving fast. Look who we found. We have a neighbor. And look how wide and open the space is. Can't wait to explore more. Read about a lot of fruit trees in the bush. 
because there's a train track here and apparently the train would throw seeds and throw plums and cherries and all that and they just started to grow here and they're not too invasive so all they do is attract all these little birds pretty good a whole new habitat to explore it's very cool because the water is so still here nothing like the ocean but then it connects to the ocean just over there but it's just a bay so not as windy actually let's check out this sign over here eelgrass meadows Ooh, pretty illustration the amazing variety of life in the eelgrass meadows 55 different species i love taking footage so i can actually look at this later in more depth oysters one time i went shoveling for some oysters digging for oysters that was fun what is this guy 38 melba hooded nudibranch oh nudibranch flossie kept talking about those the other day when they were diving very cool Let's do a little spin for everybody because it's beautiful here walking along a man-made beach by a crane <laughs> with fluorine looking at my band from this from behind it mm-hmm Look at this cool shell. Seeing nice ones with the nice indented has soap dishes and stuff. Like that. That's what they're, yeah, they're perfect little bowls for something. Oh, this is a really nice one too. Were you just gonna pick this up? Yeah, I was. <laughs> Look at that. I love the green. Yeah, the. These look like they've been for newly dyed or something. They're not washed totally. out. Either. They're huge too. Got Look where we are again. Once again, back at the game table, playing some more Rummy Cube with Laureen. Show the game. Boho Blue Van. And this is how this is going so far. Uh, this is how my hand is. By the way, this is this side of uh, her van. It's really cute. And this is her tap right here, um, which is connected to that bucket on the outside. Yeah, right there. So that's a very cool setup. And then there's a sink right underneath it. And these are the chips that we're enjoying. People love that ASMR. <laughs> crunch, crunch. And yeah, hopefully I'm going to win this time. Look at all these beautiful fabrics around here too. So lovely. I love your tie-dye. You have yeah. a lot of tie-dye, huh? Yep. I don't have any. Mainly what I wear. Have you made any tie-dye? Nope. I want to make some. I think that'd be really fun. My son has. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it'd be fun. I've done acid wash with like uh, bleach, but oh. like, yeah, on this actually I did some acid wash, but I want to do like some weird twists and like with uh, elastic bands and tight and stuff and, yeah. and sunlight. And this I just like put it on there because actually I made it really dirty with some resin. So it got all these spots. So I was like, yeah. I have to hide that by just <laughs> acid washing it. But <laughs> tie-dye sounds like a really fun park activity with your friends on a sunny day. Yeah, if you've got access to water and hot water and a big tub. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have my van with me everywhere I go, so I yeah. should have those things. <laughs> so hopefully this summer I make a new wardrobe for myself that looks like that. <laughs> this was done by a lady that really knows how to tie-dye. She's nice. been done doing tie-dye for many, many years. I would have assumed it's from like a factory. So, it looks like yeah. really nicely like Yeah, no, she's composed. been doing it for years, so she knows how to tie it to get the specific Smart. designs. And stuff. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, check in with you guys later. So 
Her video knows that I won the first game, but now my video knows I won the second game as well. <laughs> Check it out. So no, it's two for two now. <laughs> two for two for now. Yeah, 50-50. Yay! this river under a bridge at a very quiet area i was just discovering today a little bit more of the cowichan estuary which is an area that rivers of fresh water converge with the ocean of the salt water it's been a little bit trickier for me to collect water to filter because some is saltier some is fresher, but luckily I did find this river, which is all fresh and tasty. I've never had to try to filter salt water or partially salt water in my gravity filter, but don't have to still. <laughs> but maybe one day I'll give it a shot and see what that's like. How much of the salt it can get rid of. That could be a fun little test. But yeah, I'm really happy that I got to fill up some water today because it was the only resource that I was lacking. Everything else is good to go, charged up, got food, ready to do some off-grid stuff. I love a nice walk though, it's very refreshing. getting the chance not to miss sunrises like this. It's actually funny because I saw on a friend's Instagram from Ontario that there was a beautiful sunrise. They showed a very red and pink sunrise and I was like, I wonder if BC's gonna get a nice sunrise too, you know, because it's uh, three hours behind. So I was staying alert and we do get one. We get a beautiful one the like golden line on top of that mountain. The sun is just hiding behind it. This is an amazing goodbye from this spot. I'm gonna be heading off. I think I'm gonna go north on the island and stop at a few places along the way, find a river, make some videos, do some art. Enjoy my life. This is actually where I collected my coffee, or the water for my coffee yesterday. And it tastes a little bit different than normal, definitely. Maybe that's the real telling point of when I find a place that I'll want to stay forever, when I collect water from there and the coffee's real good. <laughs> This is a sword fern. Tickle you to death. They're massively long and really cool. <laughs> and they're everywhere here.
It's already like three o'clock and there's still so much frost behind these trees. I guess the sun never hits it, but still it's so warm out. Why is there frost? This is weird, but I like it. It's pretty nice. really far off mountains with all the snow on them. So beautiful.